This is a video on why I believe cartoonist Chester Brown is a rapist, likely a pedophile and definitely a sex abuser. My opinions are based not on knowing him, but on his confessional graphic novel called Vingt-trois Prostituées, or in English it was called Paying for It. I'm from Toronto, and French is my second language, so I read graphic novels in French. But you don't need to know French to follow along. I'll translate where necessary. Chester Brown is also from Toronto, but I want to underscore that I don't know him, and these are my opinions based solely on his confessions. He has said in multiple interviews that this is nonfiction and all really has. I have met him a couple of times, and I think I have gained some insight into him through those meetings. So at the end of the video, I'm going to comment on that. Finally, I want to say why I think it's relevant to have a critique of Chester Brown and uh, what should be done about it. So you can see in this book, I have a number of tabs. The blue tabs all indicate where I believe Chester Brown could credibly be charged with rape. The green tabs indicate where I believe he could be considered a pedophile, or at least there is a strong suggestion that he is. The red tabs indicate where I believe he engaged in acts of abuse, whether it be emotional abuse, sexual abuse, or uh, harassment. I'm not going to go through every single tab because I want to keep this focused and on point, but you'll get the idea and you can come to your own conclusions. So here on page 74, Chester Brown is at a brothel and uh, he's been to a few brothels. By this point, he is choosing a woman not having been satisfied with his first choice that was offered to him and he looks at a woman he wants, but he says, Elle a l'air uh, mal à l'aise. She seems ill at ease. I have the impression that she doesn't want to be chosen. But nonetheless, he chooses the woman in front of the <clears throat> madame, who is the, the brothel owner or the, the manager. And he points and he says, um, uh, well, I, I want to take that one, but, you know, if um, I can take another one. And the woman says, no, that's okay. So he is taking a woman who, in no circumstance, does he know whether she is being coerced, whether there's a pimp, what the ramifications are or would be for the woman to decline and say no. Nonetheless, he specifically says that he feels she doesn't want to be with him. And again, when he's in the room with her, he restates that. But she says, that's okay, and goes ahead. But who knows what the reality are, is in terms of her life. It could be this is something she wants to do. On the other hand, it's highly possible and credible that she has a pimp or there is some sort of coercion going on or there would be ramifications if she declined. The fact that Chester Brown doesn't know and goes ahead and has sex with her makes it, uh, I believe, rape. Here we're looking at another instance where he uh, chooses a woman in the brothel and in the course of having sex with her, she covers up her face in shame and he says she's ashamed she won't look at me and doesn't want me to look at her well to me that indicates probably that the woman is highly traumatized and at a minimum that she is doing this act because of some coercive reason economic necessity or um, a pimp or sex trafficking and nonetheless he does not know 
why she has never affirmatively said she wants to have sex with him, um, yet he goes ahead. I believe that should be considered rape. Here another woman is, and he says, do you speak English? And she says, don't speak English. And he says he, he can't uh, communicate with her. Nonetheless, he goes ahead and has sex. So how could he possibly have her consent for having sex if she can't even speak English? And not even getting into the obvious inferences one could make that she is a sex traffic victim. Here we have, uh, this is on page 188, we have an instance of three tabs, abuse, rape, and pedophilia. So he's with a woman and he, she says she's 18, but he doesn't believe it. You're really 18? And she says, yes. Well, what else is someone going to say, a sex traffic victim going to say? Um, she she would, wouldn't um, likely say, no, I'm under 18. But the fact that he is with someone he suspects is younger than 18, but goes ahead and has sex with her, and he has violent sex with her. She's in pain, and she's hurting, and yet he continues. And so I believe that can, constitutes abuse, rape, and uh, pedophilia. There is another instance here where he has sex with a woman who uh, appears to be underage and basically it seems to thrill him. So I think that counts as uh, pedophilia. So, and here another woman is he can't uh, communicate with but he goes ahead and has sex with her. So there are multiple instances here where uh, Chester Brown is engaged with women that I believe the circumstances would constitute uh, rape, uh, probably uh, pedophilia, or um, sex abuse. And also um, to show that the horror of his character or his lack of character, he goes on to message boards, and if a woman doesn't satisfy him the way he feels she should, he, he writes bad reviews about her, completely objectifying her. Now, this gets into one aspect. Um, I have a sense from having met Chester Brown, he has written previously that his mother was a schizophrenic, and I get the sense that Chester Brown himself may have a schizoid type personality. He's very thin skinned from my experience and I did not at all get the sense that he is someone with any emotional depth. Somewhere, and I think it might be in the index of this book or the appendix rather, he writes that one of his cartoonist friends, in fact, says that he has uh, no emotion and he lacks emotion. That's certainly, I believe, the f uh, a very real possibility. Nonetheless, uh, the fact that he may have uh, uh, emotional warped uh, uh, manifestations or some sort of organic brain damage does not excuse the fact that he is engaging in these crimes. So what to do? My personal opinion, I know this would never happen, I believe publishers should remove themselves from association with him. It's no different from people making movies with the Harvey Weinstein and all the other sex abusers who are in the news now. Secondly, in my opinion, the uh, the Royal Canadian Police uh, should open up an investigation into sex crimes of Chester Brown. All of this, again, is my opinion, and it is based solely on the book, Vintois Prostituées, which also is known as Paying For It. In summary, I'm going to say I refuse to be one of the sycophants of Chester Brown. If you go on to the reviews and so on, people give glowing reviews. I believe they are ignoring his actual acts, which, in my opinion, 
are inexcusable and potentially criminal.